MetalNationRadio.com. You know, sometimes See, you a lot, a lot of, of older equipment is, 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 is better. I mean, in terms of amps, I prefer valve amps than I do anything else. Yes, the, the amps, that's an orange TH30. And, and I've got an old 1983 JCM800 that's been modified that I got used at, at, a, at a music store here in L.A. I don't know what's done to it apart from it's one of the most kick-ass things I've ever heard in my life. And uh, so, I mean, it's it's got, you know, it's like an amp that they would have used then. And I just, I don't know. I mean, I did mark all the settings, but Fleming just went in there and was turning knobs. And then all of a sudden it was just like, once we got in there, you, a, a lot of the, the, the sound is also the atmosphere that he makes that you play to. You know, it's it's not like a, a dry recording. Uh, I mean, like when you're playing to it, it's just dry, and and uh, just for the sake of recording, you're playing. It's like you're making the sounds of what the album sounds like right then and there. Yeah, does he's um, really good. Does um, do any of the amps go to eleven? Just as a curious question. Yes. Yes, yeah, they they do. They go to twelve, actually. They go to twelve. Good grief, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. And of course, you have been and uh, been on stage with with uh, with the Motty Man who plays to the eleven. Is that right? Oh, with Nigel. Yes. Yeah, at Live Eight. No, no, Live Earth. Live Earth. You were on stage with Spinal Tap. That's right. That's got to be a highlight, that's, career that's, highlight, hasn't it? That, that's a highlight of. I mean, that, that's. For career's sake, yes, that's got to be the highlight of my life. Would you like to have that as your epitaph? I played with Spinal Tap. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Every bass player in the known universe, as they said. <laughs> yeah, we were doing that, and they sent out a memo saying, uh, if anybody plays bass, we're inviting all the bass players to come do Big Bottom with us. Mm. And it just so happened everybody in Madonna's band at the time play, could play bass. Yeah. And... Uh, it was uh, me, Stuart Price, Marcus Brown, and Steve Sedelnik, all, all from, uh, all there from the UK too. Uh, and so we had backup basses and all that, so everybody had a bass, so we all played. And they like in uh, um, David St. Hubbins, <laughs> he, he made a joke about that because he kept saying, "Be like Monty Pittman, Madonna, Stuart Price, Madonna, <laughs> Marcus Brown." Madonna, <laughs> Steve Zdelnik, Madonna. Eventually, everybody does Madonna. <laughs> like, great. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, I won't be telling her that now. You know, she's watching. <laughs> no. So uh, yeah, and and so we all met with the band before we we all met with Spinal Tap before we went out to kind of go over what um, we were going to be doing, like what we were going to play, and they were in character. Yeah. They were not the actors. No, 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 no. I can imagine very much. So you, you didn't ask them to get, you didn't ask the bass player to get. Oh, excellent. No, but I did ask him. Well, which which bass player? No. Yeah, Harry. Uh, he was kind of going through everything. He said, "Just watch me. I'll be walk, walking you through. Here's the riff." And um, and he goes, "I want everybody to do a solo. We're gonna break and we'll just go down the line and everybody just do a quick bass solo." Mm -hmm. And I asked Nigel, I said, can I do your solo? Are you doing that? And he goes, oh, what, the stupid solo? No. I go, yes, can I play that? I want to play that on the bass. It's my bass solo. He's, and he said, yeah, sure, go for it. So uh, then we went and we, we were walking up on stage and Metallica played before them. Mm -hmm. And so it was kind of funny because like the they, last thing they played was in, Inner Sandman. And we're on the stage. It's all the same platform you know but we're just yeah. kind of on the side behind the pa and all that so i was like playing like <laughs> like i was playing in metallica <laughs> <laughs> like they're playing and i'm just sitting there playing like okay i'm playing this note it's coming out of the speakers but it's not really coming out of the speakers but that's about as close as you would ever get um it's time to and then Trujillo comes, yeah robert Trujillo comes up and he because i had a bass on he goes hey man how does the song go and i'm just like really and I was showing him, and he's writing it down on his arm, on his hand. He's writing down how the song goes. <laughs> and then I see him showing Kirk, and then James is kind of looking over his shoulder, and Robert's going, you know, dun, 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 you know, showing the thing. And I noticed one of the riffs, was, one of the notes was off. And I'm like, 
if you say something, <laughs> and, so, and so I'll go, oh, actually, it's uh, it's uh, it's on the the fifth fret, not the sixth fret. No, like, oh, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> and I was kind of showing them, and then, and as one of the other Madonna guys was like, did you just teach Metallica how to play the Spinal Tap? <laughs> so, anyway, we walked out on stage, and then I just went. I I, I was gonna walk all the way across the stage for some reason I don't know why yeah. but then I just stopped and said no what are you doing I can't go walk across the stage so I just turned around and I grabbed a cable I plugged in and I turned around and I look and there's Wembley Stadium right Pack. that this would have been the TV. old Wembley Stadium as well yes uh, no the new one I think the new one yeah that's what yeah yeah the new one and then I look to my left and there's James and I look to my right and there's Kirk and that just I just happened to walk in between them, so that was cool. That's Standing gonna be a life. Um, two of my <laughs> idols. Yeah, that was uh, that was a, definitely one of the biggest highlights. Later on in the day, um, me and Marcus Brown, who was her keyboard player, were getting ready to go on stage because we played last, and and they had moved a lot of things around backstage. So we're walking, and we walked, we went down the hall, and we're like wait a second, we're, this isn't the way to the stage. And things are moving, they were tearing things down, and we couldn't find our way to the stage. It's not a joke. I mean, there were so many halls back there that had been set up. And then Michael McKeon and Harry, uh, Harry Scherer were, were walking out. They were not in character anymore. Always, and they were like, hey, you guys did great, yeah. And I was like, man, it's so great playing with you guys. And uh, hey, how do we get to the stage? We're running late. You know, because we'd kind of, we'd ran in back into the dressing room for a shot, yeah. you know, after like the huddle and everybody else had gone to the stage and they're like, oh yeah, that's good one guys. Yeah. We've never heard that before. We're like, no, 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 this isn't a joke. How do you know how do we get to the stage? They're like, oh, that's good. Good. Yeah, yeah. We've never heard that one before. And we're like, oh, they think we're joking doing the words. How do we get to the stage joke? And we were. Really, we almost missed it. <laughs> oh dear, that would have been that would have been we very much running. a career low point. I would imagine we're running, going, "Oh shit, we're going to be late. You know, she's going to kill us." And then also going, "Can you believe what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> that we had a spinal tap moment with spinal tap." Well, that's that's Dang. absolutely incredible. Now, the new album obviously comes out on the seventeenth of, of, of January. I mean, it's, uh, okay, it is already doing very very well amongst the listeners of Metal Nation Radio. <laughs> Um, Wonderful. Thanks for listening. They, they, thanks. you know, on behalf of the listeners, thank you very much for uh, spending time with us this afternoon to talk about the album and talk about yourself and, you know, and have a chat with us. Um, we really do appreciate it, Monty Pittman. Thank you very, very much for joining us here on Metal Nation Radio, and thank you uh, so much. we hope to see you on the road in 2014 at some point. Is there any plans for that? Me, me too. I hope to see you on the road in 2014 <laughs> from the road. From the so road. working on booking everything I can now, and you know part of it is, you know you have to, like what you said, you know I've got some previous releases that are not metal, and um, so people are just now hearing where, what this has grown to become and what it's doing now. Well, I'll make a statement right here, right now. I think 2014 late, or at least 2015, we'll see you on some festival there. Uh, bills here in the UK hopefully and, I would love that and around Europe and, and the rest of the world it'd be great to see that it? it really would uh, and again thank you very very much for joining me this afternoon you've thank been listening you. to Adam Onslaught on Metal Nation Radio with the fine gentleman which is Monty Pittman thank you very much thank you so much United We Rock Metal Nation Radio